Yo, what's up everyone? Trey Man One here, and welcome back to another Pokemon series X and Y anime review. And guys, we are back after the long drought. The Pokemon drought is over, guys. The first episode back, and I gotta say for the new year, this was an amazing start, everyone. 10 out of 10 episode for fact. This episode was just really amazing, guys. It was so emotional for Bonnie and Pony Chan, and it was actually cool to see that they actually back together. Spoiler alerts, everyone. But the episode begins with Bonnie and Clement looking for Pony Chan, and they can't find him and stuff. But Pony Chan is actually just watching the group from Invisible Invisible Mode, and like it was one scene where they're at the campfire, looking all sad and everything. And then Bod Body just wants to go find Pony Chan and Clemence yells like no Pony Chan is gone. And I was like, Oh my gosh or something on that last guys and she just started crying out tears. It was so good guys. Oh my goodness gracious. And we also got T and Flair who are spying on Ash and the gang to look for Pony Chan basically. And Z2. Well they're not looking for and that's for Z2, but for Z1, basically. And oh my gosh, guys. This episode was so good handled. Like, it was just so crazy. Like, they were all looking for Pony Chan and everything. And, like, I just felt so... It was just so good, guys. Oh my gosh. Everybody doubted this episode. I didn't doubt it, of course, because... You know, you can't judge an episode by its title, so yeah. Oh my gosh, and then the scene where Bunnaby dives in to save Bonnie when they were falling off the cliff was so impactful. The way Bunnaby just, he got beat up pretty badly from that fall. I was like, whoa, he just, he actually saved Bonnie from falling, which was cool. But yeah, the episode was mainly about finding Punishan. And team, we also got to hear Team Rocket's new theme in this uh, episode, which was pretty cool. But yeah, guys. I mean, oh my gosh. This episode was just so amazing. I, I can't stop saying that. It was just really good, guys. Especially, I wish that Ash, well, Team Rocket isn't too big to where Ash can then just come out. But Team Rocket fought Ash, Serena, and Bonnie. Um, Ash, I mean, Ash and Serena. Because Bonnie was looking for the flower to go save Bunnelby, basically. And Clement went to go help Bonnie while Ash and Serena fought off against uh, Team Rocket. While Bunnelby was back at the Pokemon Center. And it was kind of crazy that the only thing that could heal this Bunnelby was a flower. Like, what? what? what is this, guys? What, what after Omnus joined us... In the games, it takes so much in the anime just to heal the Pokemon. She should at least be, like, aware with her stuff that she needs. But yeah, guys, Greninja went in, Pikachu went in, Breaks went in, Greninja's Water Shark kids were just so amazing the way they were just, just, oh my gosh. It was like this one scene where it looked like he was a good four of them. Like, we saw two come out, but then I saw him put his hands on his knees again, so I think he's about to send out a little another two more, but they had to cut the brakes and his fire blast, which was also cool to see brakes and use the fire blast again. And this one scene where Pikachu had used Iron Tail, they put all, and Greninja used some um, Aerial Lace, they put all the attention on Pikachu, but just left Greninja and brakes on the side, like, like really... Greninja actually looked smaller in this episode. Well, he wasn't on twos. He, he was on, like, he was crouched down, so never mind. But, yeah, he was in his normal size, which was four foot two, basically, so, yeah. But, guys, another major scene in this episode was the two Zygars talking. So, basically, what happens is Pony Chan and Zygarde 2 have a little conversation about the humans. Zygarde 2 saying, and I, Zygarde 2's voice is so weird. I was like, whoa, not the woo. 
I'm talking about the main voice that they gave him. It was so, so weird. Die Guard 2 saying, you should not trust the humans. They will destroy the world and all that. While Die Guard 1 was like, no, all the humans are not bad. I know from experience. If someday you'll find a group of humans that you'll, like, trust, basically. And that's when, that was slick foreshadowing to win. Team Rocket and the Blue Zygar might join teams or something. But yeah, guys, this episode was pretty good. And Team Rocket got blasted in this episode. Thunderbolt, four water sharks, and a fire blast. They blasted off for real, guys. But yeah, in the end, they caught the flower. Bunnaby was healed. And actually, Z Pony Chan was inside of Bonnie's bag, just laying in there. He got in there, and I guess then they saw it move, so he went over there and said, Hey guys, come check this out. So Bonnie peeked in the bag, and Zygar just turned around like, Woo! <laughs> like everything was alright. But yeah, that was the review, guys. In the next video, we'll be talking about, uh, I do not know what we'll be talking about, but we might make a video about if Noe Bat is about to evolve in next week's episode. Trade Man 1, peace out.